G'day YouTubers, Spaceman AUST here. Um, I'm just uh, pressing out the last of my um, half, half of the reactor I'm building. Um, and I just thought I'd do a quick video just to show you the process I've been through. I've made many of these in the past, um, trying, attempting, you know. And uh, the last one I did was this one here. And um, when my friend welded it for me, he sort of blew through the inside, you know. So uh, this was uh, 0 0.9 mil stainless, 316 stainless. But this time around, I'm actually using 1.5. So hopefully that'll help him out there so we don't burn through. I used to bash these out, you know, like actually I had that jig set up like this you know this um, piece here and I had a handle on it up here and I used to put it on top of that ball and just bash it down 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 in this jig down on the floor there you know and um, it would take me a day you know just to get this done um, maybe more you know like 316 stainless so um, in, uh, so hard of steel it's really hard to bloody um, it's, you know, even with hammering it, but it was making that much noise, you know, it was even pissing me off, so I'd hate to know what it was doing to the neighbours, but anyway, I decided I'd build this here, this press, 50 ton jack on it, um, and yeah, just so I could do this without any bashing, but I'm glad I did, I, I made this jig up here, this is made of three plates there, the, that bottom plate's like um, armoured steel, it's really solid, very hard, you can't even drill through it, that's why I was I was going to drill holes through it, like this top plate, but this is just mild steel, but drilling through that was near impossible, my mate had cut the 65 mil hole on it, he said he'd ne never had a steel that hard before, you know, um, but it's got a 2 mil spacer plate in here, and what I do, it's got a 110 mil hole in it, and I drop a piece of 316 stainless into it. Um, and the reason for that, and then I put this top plate uh, and clamp it down because the reason for that is that it ripples up, you know, as you can see here, this one. Now that's okay, I'm going to trim that off. It's below, um, way beyond the 30 mil depth I needed. Um, so that'll get cut out. And I'll get that bit of copper out and then line it with these other ones I've made um, previous because uh, they're not damaged. Uh, yeah, but I may even make some new ones actually. Just press them straight up into this into this actual um, piece, you know. But I'll see. Um, anyway, uh, they so they all turn out nice and smooth, you know. Really, I'm really pleased with the finish of it. Um, this is one that it's all finished basically, it's got the copper lining in, I just got to grind it back to its proper depth, but that'll be done once the rings are welded to it, um, I'll take that copper back out, you know, while the welding's being done, and then I'll put it back in and grind it all flat, you know, yeah, surface grind it so it's nice and smooth, because they'll get bolted together, um, I'll show you, like, sort of in that fashion. Yeah, they'll end up bolted together and an electrode put in it. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be away. But So these are these ones I've made now, they're duds, so I'll be tossing them. I, I didn't want to go any further with that because it's not a true um, cylindrical cylinder. So I decided I'd just rebuild it. So this is what I'm doing. So just to show you how quickly this works now, I'm going to hold this and jack that down at the same time I'll try and keep it still for you guys it's not um, not the simplest I'm using my left hand <laughs> I think the 50 mil jack's probably a bit of an overkill honestly but you know so all I do now is jack that down until I reach the um sorry just a bit awkward, me left hand and right handed. So, yeah, I'm just bring that all the way down up to that jig on the top. So, 
until it bottoms out on that plate. And that'll get us pretty much, that'll bring it down to about 30, 31 mil or something, I think it goes to. But that, that's, um, I need 32.5. So, I've got to take it apart and then bring it down to that there, what I've got there. So, just to show you though, how it comes out of the press on the first one. I'll do this demonstration. Show you what I end up with. Getting it apart though with one hand is going to be an issue. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Alright, that there for a second. And do the jack. And my pulley system to make it retract. Um, so the doesn't go all the way up, fortunately, but it's a, it's a bloody heavy jack, so I'm not surprised, you know. So I just put this bar underneath in here and just give it a bit of a lift <laughs> and help it out. And you can see it does um, come back all right. Sometimes it doesn't want to go all the way. I don't know what that is, but anyway, that's enough. So we'll get this shit out of the way. Oh, shouldn't say shit if I'm making a YouTube video, should I? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, so the reason I'm showing this is because I'm not a professional. I'm just building this off the top of my head, you know, working out how I can do it. You know, my backyard type of deal. <laughs> I'm not a engineer. Well, I do have a certificate three in CAD engineering, but anyway, I'm still not a electronics expert or any of that sort of thing. So, to to do this is pretty um it's a bit of a mission for me. Anyway, get them out of the way. And as you can see there, that's the that's the job. That's how it ends up. Now I'll take that further. I won't bother pulling that out yet because you can see the copper's not quite all the way down. So I need to bring it to that level there. So what I do now, is, now I've got those plates out of the way. I bring this back up. Oh, push this in. Sorry, sorry guys. <laughs> all right. So yeah, put that back on the job. Do up my jack again and jack it back down. I probably shouldn't have lifted it up, so I now got a bloody jack all the way down. 50 mil or something. Yeah, whatever that is under there. Anyway, so now we bring this down. Again. I had to put tape on there. I bloody made a film earlier. Um, I realised had my name on there. I put on there, you know, built by me and um, the date, you know, just so... Yeah. You know, if someone gets it in the future or something, the, the press, you know, then at least they'll know where it was made and who and when. So anyway, so on we go. Okay. So you can see it's only rippled up small amount at the moment. But now, it's going to curl right up as I get down to the required depth. I'm already past the depth, but I'll go... A little bit further, doesn't hurt. Okay, that'll do me. Alright. Let me get this out. See the movement in the press? <laughs> um, I'm going to put the... Oh, hang on. I'm going to put the phone... Oh, I don't want to... I don't want to... Um, okay. Right, there we go. So now I've got that out. Now I guess you're wondering how I get this out of here. Well, this jig I made earlier for when I was bashing away, now I bash away for a different reason. <laughs> I uh, slap this down on here. Oh, all right. And there we go, she's out. And now I'll just trim them off above that frilly shit off, 
and then uh, flatten out the edges a bit. So, you know, a bit like this one. All right, yeah, get it ready for the copper. And um, I'll put the copper in that again, you know, like the, the proper copper ones, I'll flatten these out a little bit further. Because that when I flatten that, I had the copper in there. So I'll flatten them out a bit, a bit extra. And then I'll um, put the, the proper copper pieces in that I'm gonna use. And I'll press that back down through the press again, just to um, make it all nice and neat. But yeah, pretty impressive if I do say it myself. <laughs> anyway, all right, well, I've got all my, all my four pieces done there. And I did that in like, um, oh, well, you know, as you just saw, it doesn't take long. Once I've cut those rings out, it takes bugger all. So yeah. I'll be away making lots of these for people if they want them, if you're interested. Um, I am looking for assistance, you know, uh, with high voltage plasma. Um, need to sort of get advice on that, you know, about the gases and, uh, uh, you know, which one. I, I was going to actually buy these. You can buy these tubes with all the different gases in them and, you know, you light them up. Um, to test which one has the most magnetic pulse or magnetic field, but it may not be the same because these these copper linings they've got to have um, a caustic soda acid treatment to get a black um, carbon on them or something. Uh, it's based on Keshi technology, so yeah, that's why I'm doing this because uh, Keshi's. Um, had copper linings he originally did these in stainless and copper and now now he um they're made in plastic with um electrode they do a electrolysis on it and put a copper lining on the inside so it's very thin but i i saw one built out of stainless with copper and believe me <laughs> the amount of power this thing put out you know, it only stayed on the web, on the internet, um, YouTube for about two hours, man, and they took it down right away. And the thing was, when I downloaded it, I was watching it a second time while it had been downloading, because well, I had slow internet back then, and uh, my computer froze. And when I re tried to reboot it, my Windows was corrupted, so I had to reinstall Windows, and I ended up um, getting the file, did a recovery of the drive, and got the files. Well, I actually plugged the drive in, put Windows on another drive, and put the drive back in and got that video off, but it was corrupted, eh? So someone didn't want me to see it, and I know why. I mean, giving uh, Caliban or assholes like that, you know, free energy, high free energy. I mean, this is actually the best free energy device I've ever seen in my life. And I mean that, you know, there's nothing else on YouTube that I've seen that puts out this power. No con no moving parts, no consumables. Um, you know, and I know people are going to say it's not free energy because I've spent money building this bloody thing. But, you know, I don't give a shit about the cost of building it. It's the actual cost of running it that I'm talking about. So... Yeah, so whether I can give it to everyone, no, I don't think so. But, you know, even the people that decide to help me, you know, I'll be a bit suspicious of. So I may or may not accept the help and just continue on on my own. Because, um, yeah, I'm just a bit concerned about people getting, the wrong people getting it in their hands, you know. I watched a Taliban video one time about ISIS, you know, and they were saying about how they captured these Scud missiles from America. And um, America wasn't concerned, though, because they weren't able to actually use them uh, because the um, uh, it, the bay that held the power source to run the missile was so small that, you know, the amount of power it needed to produce, um, not many people would, would know how or had the capability of doing that. That's why American military didn't give a shit that they had them you know because they knew that it was virtually impossible you'd have to have one of their suppressed technologies or something I guess to to um, achieve it you know and even though I'm giving out the information about it being a Keshi reactor it's still not 
it's still not the reactor that Keshi built and you won't see any more videos of Keshi talking about about it yeah so I think he, he was captured by the military at one stage American military and held for a week and released of course I guess because he was too well known but ever since that day he's never talked about it so you know and I guess there's a good reason for that but anyway yeah, it's all for now I'll all I need to do now is clean all that up, the edges, you know, cut these off and like um, like this other one here, get it all prepped up, ready to have the rings put on it. And I'll have a true circular reactor, you know. Um, yeah, as you can see, like when those two go together, it's beyond, it's egg shaped now, so you know, you can see I've got plenty to trim off. So yeah. Excitement. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and if you're interested in getting a, getting one of these, you know, I mean, you'll have to sort out the well, you know, well, depending on how much you want done. But I really prefer I could cut the rings out for you, I guess. Um, but you could get them welded and stuff in your own town or whatever. Um, and yeah, so I may sell some if you're interested. Not sure what to charge on them yet. I'll have to find out the true price of the stainless because I actually get it pretty cheap because my the owner of this house I'm renting um, owns the steelworks where I buy it, so he gives it to me at a good price. Anyway, that'll do for now. I'll catch you all later. Spaceman AUST out.